Okay, this is the vertical truss. There's two sorts of vertical trusses. One called tri truss, which is this, three points, and the other one is box truss. Uh, they're usually done to create an arch that the client wants to stand up and they hang the Hollywood sign uh, over the top or otherwise they, they dress them for an archway. And what you have is base plates, like so. For the vertical truss, it's the round base plate. For the box truss, it's a square base plate. Uh, then we have the truss itself, corner pieces, and then you want all of this. Now, the difference, these are really hard to come by. So if you ever are de-rigging the job, you need to bring these back to Graham in the red box. There's a difference between this and this. This one is self-tapping. This is for the base plate. Uh, when it goes in, it doesn't need uh, a, a nut on the other side to be able to tighten up. It goes in the base plate. So you need four for the base plate on either end. So that's eight of those. And then you have these and they four at each connection. When you're doing the connection, you have a spigot that goes in and holds these two together, like so. So you basically join up this part here. Now, the way you know you've got it facing right is you always have two up the top and two spread out at the bottom. So, so putting the tri truss together, you put in three spigots and you close that up. <laughs> These go in at the, at the three points. You've got two at the top here and two at the bottom. You're going to need two spanners, uh, one to hold the nut and one to turn. Now, I love this one. This is the easiest one. If shifters, probably not the best to take out. Uh, so you use two of these because they turn and it just makes the job much quicker. Um, in, hold that there. Make sure they judge it. Oh, yeah. 